four of a kind is required, then this is the trick you would like to perform first. Produce four of a kind and then get into your routine. If you have come for the first time, then please let me tell you that I'm uploading several magical tutorials every week. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, write in the comments how you are liking my videos and press the bell icon for new upload notifications. So I'll perform the trick first and then explain you how to do this beautiful self-working magic. Usually one of our team members is once again ever ready to help me in my videos. Thank you Vijali. Now I'm going to perform something with this deck of cards. I'll just give this deck a shuffle like this. I need three random cards for this trick and you are going to do the cut. So at first what you have to do is lift up less than half of the deck. Less than half. Just lift up less than half. Very good. Now this is the card where you have cut to and if I turn this over then the first face down card will be your card where you have cut to. So that is the card I'm going to place over here. So this is the card I'm going to place over here. Now we are going to do it two more times. So this time what you do lift up about half the deck of the cards. Fantastic. So this is where you have cut to. I'll turn this over and let me take out the card where you have cut to. That is the first face down card. This is it. So I'm going to place it over here. One last time we are going to do the same thing. But this time what you have to do, you have to cut deeper. That means below half of the deck. Fantastic. So this is where you have cut to. I'll turn this over one more time and the first face down card will be your card. Let me see which is the card. Here, here is the card. This is your face down card. Now, do you know what is the most powerful card in a deck of cards? powerful card ki ki Right, an ace. And not all aces. The ace of spades is the most powerful card in a deck of cards. And that is the reason why its center peep is so large in size. It's so big. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you the power of ace of spades. I just cast my shadow over the deck and then spread it over here and you see that all the cards are facing down only one card is facing up and that is ace of spades and this is the most powerful card i told you it has the power to change any card to a different card for example if i just touch it like this one two three one two three one two and three then what happens a miracle takes place because this one is also an ace this is also an ace and this is also an ace all your random cards have turned into aces i hope you enjoyed the performance now let us get into the secret in this particular case the spectator finds out the aces no that is not true actually there are several tricks in which four aces are produced most of them require a good amount of skill but this is not a production of four aces in fact the spectator selects any three random cards and then with the help of this powerful ace that is ace of spades you change them to the other aces and then you can continue with your four ace routine a little preparation is required uh, setup is required that you can do in front of the spectators. So you need a deck of cards which is absolutely ordinary. This is 
a self-walking trick as I told you before you need one additional card other than these four aces and that is any random card so we are going to use this random card so the setup is like this you take the black ace that is ace of clubs place it facing up then on top of this place any one of the red aces now the ace of diamonds it is also facing up on top of this you place a random card any random card that is facing up then you have to put the ace of spades the most powerful card but you have to place it facing down and then this last is that is the ace of hearts it is also facing down now you are ready so one more time I'm showing you ace of hearts ace of spades any random card facing up ace of any any red ace facing up I mean the ace of diamonds in this case and ace of clubs facing up then rest of the deck this is all based upon two forces Henry Crest move and Balduki's force so both are combined together we have come to this beautiful uh, production of four aces in fact it is not a production changing of three random cards to the aces I'll proceed as you have seen in the presentation just ask the spectator to lift up less than half of the cards when they lift it up you say that that is the card where they have cut two you turn this over and put on top you have to be very careful you have to hold the tape in a mechanics grip in a deep mechanics grip so that prematurely you should not spread the deck there is a reason because some of the cards are facing up run cards from hand to hand like this and the first card that is facing down you'll say that that is the card they have cut two that is not true but this is one of the aces so you take it but be careful you should not spread it like this otherwise the other ace will be visible so you have to hold it like this in this way in a mechanic script only slide the top card and place it on the table place this back on the on top of the remaining cards ask the spectator or a second spectator to cut somewhere in the middle so they cut somewhere in the middle like this and you again say that this is where you have cut two so you turn this over and place on top now one more time you do the same thing you just run cards from hand to hand and the first facing down card will be the card where she, I mean the spectator will think that they have cut two so you replace the cards here and go to the third spectator or the same spectator and ask her to cut deeper more than half of the deck so they cut somewhere here let us assume that they cut over here once again you turn it over and spread the cards like this run the cards from hand to hand and that is the first phased out card and you place it over here now you turn this over facing down replace it on top and you are ready for the climax now you cast your magic spell and say that the most powerful card in a deck of cards is the ace of spades and that is the reason why its center peep is so large in size it is very powerful and it has the capability to change other cards I'll show you what I mean by that first you cast your shadow over the deck and then spread the cards and the ace of spades will be the only card facing up so you take the ace of spades and tap these cards and show that these cards have changed into the other aces the four aces are now out of the deck and you are now ready for your next performance with these four I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial please give this a try and let me know how you enjoyed performing this before your spectators and what was the reaction of your spectators see you again next time in the next video till then bye bye